What's up, YouTube? This is the 32 gig DeMeso image, and it looks like it's running Motion Blue version 5. And it is in emulation station currently, but this is a cool theme because, as you can see, it's a vertical screen. Uh, you can see I have a little yellow lightning because I actually did have to plug in my keyboard, my uh, F710. It did not prompt me to configure my control. So, this is an image where you have to hook up a keyboard to get started. And then once you hit up a hook up a keyboard, you got to go to the RetroPie menu. There's also music being played right now. I've muted it since, but there is background music as well. I'll show you that in just a moment. You can see here, it's a really nice, uh, I think it's either Mega Display or Super Display is the name of this theme. And it looks a lot like a track mode, so it's pretty nice in that way. I finally figured out how to do it on my keyboard. It was uh, like Q to get to the start menu, and then A to say to go forward. So so Q, get in the menu, go to configure input, say yes. And then I was able to configure my uh, F710 PlayStation style controller. Once you have the PlayStation style controller configured, I'm just about done here. You should be able to control this image with no issues at all. The next thing I did was I went to RetroPie and then I went to uh, the file manager. And then this is where you go to, to disable the music, or you can do it another way, but this is the easiest way, is just delete the music, go to RetroPie, ROMs, and then there's a, there's a folder called Music. And then you can just um, hold down Control or Shift, I believe it's Shift, and then hit down, 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 down on your keyboard until you got all of them. And then you're gonna hit F8 on your keyboard, and then that'll hit Delete, and then you're gonna hit uh, F10 to uh, quit and go back to Raspberry Pi. Once you're that, you'll have no more music, you'll have your controller configured, and we can start checking out this image. So now we are in Emulation Station. We got Atari 2600, 502 games, Atari 7861, Atari Lynx 85, Dreamcast, we have seven. The seven we have a Capcom vs. SNK, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Mario Comic Gold, Project Justice, Soul Calibur, WDF, Rumble. I do want to lower my sound volume here. Get that a little lower. Okay. Next up, we got Final Burn Alpha 5. We got some Street Fighters, Lethal Enforcers, JoJo's World, Game Gear 228, Game Boy 505, Game Boy Advance 40, Game Boy Color 450, MAME 630, Sega Master System 129, Sega Genesis 714, Nintendo 64 20, Neo Geo 103, Nintendo 921, Neo Geo Pocket Color 37, PC Engine 141, PlayStation 12, here are the 12 games. This game's great. It's like Darius meets um, the fifth element meets, uh, what's that thing called? Blade Runner, Guilty Gear, Marvel Comet Trilogy, NFL Blitz, NHL Rock the Ring, Pepsi Man, Ray Tracer's Tekken, and WWF WrestleMania. Got RetroPie set up, and just to show you, it's running a really recent update, so it's nice that it's all up to date. 4.2.12. One nine, I'm sorry. I don't know why the nine looked like a two. Sega 32X, 29. Sega CD, 17. SG-1000, 68. Super Nintendo, 862. Virtual Boy, 19. And then we have a couple we have a couple collections. Batman, uh, 31 games. And you can see when you click in here that you can see like Nintendo, Game Boy, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy, Nintendo, Game Boy Advanced. Um, can't really see. Oh, Game Boy Color, Mega Drive, also known as um, Genesis. So it looks like Mega Drive. Genesis is not converted everywhere. Family the computer disk system, be careful, there might be some pornographic games in there. Uh, Sega Genesis hacks. This is really cool because you can see all the hack games like NHL 17, Sonic and Yoshi, Sonic Jam 6. So you also get your Nintendo hacks. So cool stuff like Mega Man and the Mushroom Kingdom, Super Mario Bros. Suicide Extreme. All these little hacks and different games. PC Engine CD-ROM, one game, Castlevania. Super Famicom. 122 Super Nintendo hack so again cool hack games for these cool classic consoles not too many hacks only 12 on the Nintendo and then you have favorites it's really easy to add and remove favorites on this emulation station theme and I have to say this is one of my this is this is a really nice theme I'm liking it a lot I think it might make my top five as far as themes go uh, let's just test a game really quick I'm going to show you that one game I was talking about earlier you get cool little custom loading screens as well Super smooth, up recently updated. It has uh, it has artwork. It doesn't have the video snaps, so a lot of the data is in the games. That's how you're able to have a 32 gig with Dreamcast, with PlayStation, and still all the the retro consoles as well. 
So the 30, you're packing a lot on this 32. And the 32, as far as dollar amount you have to pay, you know, you're talking about $12 for an SD card, where 64, you got to go into around $22, $23. So it really does give you a price competitive there was uh, a gaming experience. In the era of... So this game uh, does vibrate if you have a dual shock or some sort of uh, vibration controller. And uh, you cannot hold down the button though. You do have to kind of click, click, clickety clack it. I guess you can hold down the button, but you fire faster if you don't. So once you kill these guys, you can get some better guns. Once you have better guns, you can destroy the bigger ships much faster. Let's wait till we get a bigger ship. Here we go. Now we got the spreader. Did I just miss the spreader? Sorry, guys. Here we go. I'm gonna get this guy's gun for sure. We got the cannon. Okay. There we go. Now we got the cannon. I'm gonna show you this cannon once we uh, get a more difficult boss over here. You gotta kill the signs too, you don't wanna run into the signs. So I'm saying, doesn't this kinda remind you of Blade Runner right there? Got the wasp. I don't know which which one do I want, the wasp or the Vulcan? Wasp. Okay. Wasp seems to track, so that's always good. Oh, he got me. He got me. All right. So there you have it. 32 gig, really nice, newly updated. Love the theme. Uh, my biggest beef with it is that controller thing. I mean, all these people have to do is hit. Uh, you just, so this is how you do it in most. Systems, did you just go over to RetroPie? Oh, you go to Raz RetroPie Setup. Then you go to Configuration Tools. And then you go over to Emulation Station. And then you just clear and reset Emulation Station inputs. And that way, when you reboot, it'll just ask you to put in the correct controller. Therefore, when other people or other controllers are being used, it's a really easy setup. So besides that, though, with that one little beef, look at that. Look at those raspberries. Mmm, so ripe. So right, but they're not in a pie. I'm a little disappointed. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys on the next one.